Hey, what's up guys? So, I was supposed to make this video when my racks get here. Um, I ordered a bunch of racks and um, they were supposed to be here five weeks ago. Five weeks um, from ordering and I'm already in the seventh week. And um, it looks like they're going to be shipped out in the eighth or ninth week. So, I'm pretty salty about that, especially because I was promised five weeks. And um, now it's going to take about ten weeks and I, I should have just went with animal plastic if... That was the if I would have known that <clears throat> a little better quality, but anyways, so I want to talk about you know size on ball constrictors like the growth or whatever. Um, I know one, one person brought it up um, that they wanted to see that, and I think it's a really good subject, especially if you're trying to get into snakes. <clears throat> Let's start with this girl right here. Um, this is probably like my smallest, um, my smallest baby. Uh, she's about to be six months too. Um, so yeah, so this is a hypo um, Ferrari pastel line. This female is about to be six months old. Um, she's a little smaller than what I would like, but um, she's she's so she's actually pretty good. Uh, this girl, this female is eating on mice. Actually, all my sixteens are on mice right now. Um, these guys are on hoppers, fuzzies. And small rats, whatever I can get my hands uh not small rats, I'm sorry, small adult mice, whatever I can get my hands on. Um starting in next week they're gonna be an extra in um large large mice. Alright, so that's the comparison. Um if you're gonna get it just born, obviously it's gonna be a little smaller than this. I recommend getting a snake, um Especially if you're breeding snakes, I recommend raising them. I've tried it all. I've tried babies. I've tried sub-adults and adults. Um, uh, I don't know. You got to be patient. Um, I'd rather raise the snakes, you know. That's what I'm doing this year. The, the, all of this is 2016s. I decided to start, like, to start up a group of babies and raising them. Um, so, yeah. You can get the, the idea of you know six months maybe a little bigger would have been a better thing but not not much maybe this 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 is the right size for a six month I don't know if you can see any difference but nothing too too much but um but yeah so that's a baby uh oh yeah so if you you know if you want to start them off you should get anything between a month to six seven months i would say is the, is the right um ideal um not all breeders feed the same way um you know their babies some of them feed seven days every seven days some of them feed every 10 days some of them feed every 14 some of them breed um feed 20 days so yeah um what else with the babies all right that should be it the next size up this girl is a 2015 a little small to be almost two years old but like I said you know I just got her probably like four months ago I would say on a trade and um, she was raised pretty pretty slow there's the idea She's on small rats right now, um, probably a couple months, and I put her on mediums. I think when she reaches mediums, she's going to start catching up on the weight and on the size. Um, yeah, so that's her. That's a baby going into sub-adult. <coughs> this girl right here is a sub-adult going into small adult. Like I said, I'm waiting on racks, so don't judge me too much. <clears throat> there you go. This girl is eating mediums every 7 days, large every 14 days. Whatever I have available. She's beautiful. Look at that tail. She's a possible heavy PIT positive. She better prove out. Alright, so that's her. This right here is a small adult. 
beautiful beautiful snake this is one of my pride joys produced her in 2014 I'm gonna breed this year I can't wait mom passed, passed away two weeks after having her um, probably the only snake I can talk about over and over again from the ones that I've lost awesome lineage too one of the best jungle lineage out there um, anything that she produces that resembles her mom especially if it's a female is staying here if it's one or if it's ten all of them are staying here I'll probably have a picture of mom I'll put it up beautiful beautiful female uh, large rats every seven days to 14 days All right, so now you get to the big adults. This girl right here is pushing eight feet. I bought her already like this. I do not like to get them this big. She's in shed. I don't know if I should put my hand in there. Like I said, I got her as an adult. Um, I do not trust her. Sometimes she's good, sometimes she's shady. If you see the pink thing, um. I did like two three videos before this one came out right and that's one of the highlighters to measure her and I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna put my hand in there but yeah I got her I got her even bigger than this I think she was way bigger than this beautiful boy red everywhere but I have her on a schedule feeding schedule right now 20 to 25 days just to get her a little slimmer slim whatever yeah, so she's a 2009. Like I said, this this is probably too big of a boa. I know some breeder likes this size. They have more babies and they have I don't want to say healthier babies, but you know, bigger babies, I guess, since they're pretty big. And uh, that's a good thing, but my opinion, I don't I don't like my boas this big. Um yeah, so let me show you a perfect size boa for me. Uh, this girl right here. That's a perfect size boa. She's pushing, I would say, uh, six and a half, six and a half feet. Um, slowly but surely. Look at that skill separation. Um, we'll see not too excited about this pairing I had my T positive well I explained that in the last video anyways um, what else yeah so also um, if you're looking to breeding you should you know get your your boa to the size you want and then breed her don't get like let's say like she reached uh, three years but she's in a smaller size don't breed her you know what I'm saying after they breed, they they tend to stay smaller. Though they tend to stay at the same size, they 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 literally stop growing. And if they do grow, it's like barely, very slow. And let me show you that with a male. So before this year, I was breeding my males 18 months to 20 months to two years. Um, let me show you. This is a full adult male. Yeah, he's in shed, so he's a little awkward. But anyways, that's a full adult male. He bred last season. He did produce for me. Um, but look how small he got. Ever since last season, I've been feeding him well. He just don't grow. Um, healthy, he's very healthy. He eats fine. But the breeding, I guess, takes a toll on them and they just stop growing. Or they stop growing at the rate they should be growing. <clears throat> Which is not a bad thing, but um, I'm going to like my, my males a little bigger from now on. Sorry guys, my video just cat, cut. But um, if you guys know anything about boas, you're going to tell me this guy is not 
head T positive. How sexy that thing is. He just got up breeding. He didn't lose weight. He's perfect weight. This is the smallest I would like a male. Let me see if I can put. Can you stop? Ah, damn it. Sometimes he strikes, sometimes he doesn't. But um, that's the smallest I would like a male. Okay. Don't you try it. The biggest or the good size of a male, I would say this size would be nice. Maybe just a little bit smaller than this. But this size it would be perfect. Especially for breeding too. And breeding big females. <clears throat> So yeah guys, so I really hope this helps. Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Um, I have my Facebook up, I have my YouTube, anything like, if I miss anything right now, just ask me. Or if you want to see something like, just for you, you can ask me too and I can make a little clip, a little video, whatever. This girl is going to need a bigger cage. Look how she's getting big. Look at that, you're gonna tell me that's not head positive, T positive. Oh, I can't wait for next year. I can't wait. But anyways, alright guys, so I hope this helps. And if it didn't answer your questions, please ask me the question. And uh, you know, I'll answer. Let's just go out to this guy right here. Beautiful hypo Molly. And this is the size of six month baby should look um, you see the difference this one is a little chunkier and a little bigger these girls have been racing slow girls I tend to race a little um, slower so they can be a little healthier but um yeah guys so have a good one I hope all the breedings are going well again take care